the world by Wrestling Alliance Asylum. Here on Earth 1610. Yes, we're here again. This is Aftershock Episode 6. Folks, the road to Dead Summer's Night continues to heat up. And before we go on tour, we have one final step here in the asylums. Picking him worldwide, the corner, one of the corners of this place here on the desk. Alongside for the first time, we welcome to the asylum. One of the heads of the uh, highest club of wrestling and also the lead voice of fantasy wrestling acclaimed D. Walshaw, the lip himself of virtual wrestling, Sahaya Morgan. Fuck you. How you doing, Patrick Starr? I'm honestly a little surprised that it took you this long to get me on the desk, but uh, I'm here. Dude, dates! Dude, dates! I've been doing this, you know what? I've been not, not off your desk in a sense. You know, thanks to your stupid messiah. Well,. Blame him, not me. Anyway, we're gonna kick the night off. Oh! We're gonna Aye. kick the. We are going to kick the night off in a big way, ladies and gentlemen. This is our opening contest, and it is our first of five Dead Man Five qualification matches. Do you see the face of the Ready to Rumble franchise, Afro Thunder? And the reason why I say qualification is because at Dead Summer's Night, we're going to have the Dead Man 5 match, a five-way elimination dance. The winner will get become the new number one contender to the Worldwide Wrestling Alliance World Heavyweight Championship. I, for one, would not want to count out a man like Afro Thunder in the East. And what I've seen down in the WWE has been very, very impressive so far. Yeah, and also a man who, uh, who, who came up runner up, you know, during that eight months of Fireball match back at Flashpoint to ride Mundo Pedrosa. And also he's coming off a massive, you know, fantasy road title match against Sands. Yeah. Go and watch that. That's on the TW Worldwide channel. After us in for a fight! No, that's for damn sure. Because here comes the psychotic men, one of the most psychotic individuals on this roster. He is, in a sense, also cybernetic in some ways. He is Brian Fury. As what you might see as psychotic, this man might see as any normal day. Because Brian Fury is a man that knows no limits when it comes to physical contact, to say the least. Yeah, as you know, we do have a, I have made it clear, you know, here on the desk, we do have a partnership, you know, with the King of Iron Fist. Yes, I'm aware. Thank you, thank you, one ex-ACL employee, Jim Kusamano. Kind of bitter about that. Fuck you, Fashion Stampede. But Brian, but Brian Fury, uh, had his debut for us on a VW Worldwide special back on July 27th. Speaking of which, we'll be having another one early September. We will confirm the date in the upcoming weeks. And he uh, defeated Renman in quite brutal fa fashion. It was a TKO followed up by, you know, the Kreutz Raft. Right. Which put Renman away, so... Big opportunity here for both these guys, but I've been impressing. And a, a very interesting clash of styles, to say the least. You have uh, uh, an experienced, well-rounded boxer in uh, Afro Thunder. Meanwhile, you've got uh, pretty much an all-arounder with Brian Fury going into this one. Power advantage goes to Brian Fury. Speed advantage goes to Afro Thunder. So we are underway. AJ Monahan rings the bell. Yes, we find Monahan out here for our opening contest here on Aftershock Episode Six. Oh! Busiest working ref in the business. Oh, oh, also, uh, uh, from last week, happy birthday to Miss Monaghan. It was her yeah. birthday a week or two ago. It was Mount Lady's birth. How do you know this? It was over Twitter! <laughs> Listen, I get it. You don't pay attention to your social media because I usually troll you over winning on Fall Guys. Yes, I will go out of character for a second. Look, all I'm saying is don't stalk another married man's woman's fucking Twitter account, alright? I'm not! Stalking on Twitter, Cody it was all over Twitter because she's popular. She's very popular anime, my dude. Anyway, back to the contest. Oh god. Oh! Uh, Brian Fury. Yeah, look at Afro, he's sticking the brooding. Wow. 
Uh, I like it a lot more aggressive. Turns him around. Has a oh. up the belly to back suplex. Nicely done. After him needs to be aggressive, you know. Got Cannonball Sanctum! Well, there's something I wasn't expecting. Oh, Koba! Two and no! Almost not the entire run of Brian. Afro Thunder coming out of the gates hot, knowing for damn sure that Brian Fury wasn't going to give him any answer. So why should he? Trying to go for that arm, and I don't think Messing Holt against Fury is going to win this. Probably not. That was a big kick. What the? Oh! Straight up hammerlock DDT by Brian Fury. And he's only got a one. Surprisingly, only gets a one count off of that. Just dropped Afro, you know, right on his head and just clobbering shot and what that has done, and he's gonna drop him on his head again! Well, uh, at first you don't succeed, try again. Second DDT. And again. And again, and again, and again. Oh! That was a straight back elbow at that time. What you gonna see from Brian Fury ain't anything you know pretty. Nope. Roll for it. Double arm DDT! Three times to the head! That could possibly do it. Afro Thunder could be out. Oh, oh no. Oh, that was close. That was the two and three quarters as it would get. I mean, I wouldn't have doubted if he did get the victory. Afro just got dumped on his head three times in less than a minute. And Afro no fighting back with some body shots. Oh! <laughs> I think he caught him with the boxing glove. With. I think that he was like a running punch. Well, it's like a modified boxing glove. Can I be clear? What? Took a full on deal and got right back. Wait, what the, the hell? Ah! <laughs> the boy got the new stuff with the half and half suplex. Why? Was that the old two? Whoever has been training Afro Thunder in the wrestling background has been doing a fine good job because he is just tossing around Brian Fury at the moment. We have seen boxers, in a sense, you know, adapt to wrestling quite naturally. Think of UCWL, you think of Ed, and you think of, you know, Adonis Creed. Boxers have, you know, tended to adapt to this quite naturally as he just crowned him. What? Two? Two. No. 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 I mean, I hope... Go ahead. The most famous uh, uh, of, uh, of the bunch thing right now, the former Golden Gloves winner, uh, Team Corbin. He got fired recently. He did. <laughs> what? Well, well, oh! Oh, uh, we got a bleed out. And hey, Afro's going right for it. Yeah, Afro doesn't care. He smells blood in the water. This is smart. Yeah, go for the court. Try and, try and put your man out. There's one for you! I feel going up top though! Again! Got it! Get Got it! Flush on the jaw! One! Two! Three! No! <laughs> I'm liking that Afro Thunder is starting to, you know, expand his repertoire as this match goes on. Yeah, oh, if you were brought to murder, <laughs> that just have it in done. Kick, Roll through eight. again! And you're That's down on your head! Again. But down on your head. This yeah. Uh oh, what is he going for? Oh no! Pop the driver! That was a straight up Memphis pile driver. That was old school from Brian Fury. Yeah. Oh, come on, this TKO! Oh no, I was thinking that TKO. Stand your stunguns in. Brian Ferris is going to take his time. And he's going to try to him up. And he's in the middle of the ring, too. And Afro Thunder's Great. got nowhere to go. Great ring positioning on the rear naked jockey. I, I mean, this is pretty much picture perfect. Afro Thunder, he's going to have to try to will himself out of this. Wait a second. Picks the light. Unable to roll over the top. Fury not able to drop. Oh, no! <laughs> Come on! 
Superman. Superman punch. He didn't even give him a second to think about it. Ah, oh, the spike buster. That is going to burst a blue seal at the beginning of the end here. Here we go. Oh my God. He is just beating away at the midsection right now, Baffle Thunder. This is our ruthless Blind Furious, and now look at him, he's going to try and choke him out of here. I need a choke, that's more stretch in the neck here, modified camel clutch. He is looking to get the submission victory on Afro Thunder, it seems. He might, well, might as well do it. Afro's been taking the task in this contest, but you see Afro, that. Oh, forearm! Camel clutch hold. Chop. Oh, big right hand. Block. Oh, 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 look at these strikes! Big things! Jesus. It's coming too fast for Afro to, to even think of a counter. Uh, Afro! Oh, oh, right. Right hand. There's that big right hand! That's two for Fudgy Dummy! Oh, there's an uppercut! Oh, Afro might be thinking the KO shot here! Oh, and all that have right here! Oh, no, he was looking for the rumble. He was, he was looking for that, you know, that, that from the shuffle. Oh no. oh no! Oh, this is going to be bad. Oh, yeah. oh in a sense of fury's rough. Well, absolutely. Now, oh you know? no! And there's the corner. That TKO agreement, and this will be the end for Afro Fun. And Brian Fury has booked himself in the Dead Man's Five at Dead Summer's Night. Oh boy! That's that's dangerous news for any other man going into that. Good luck to the other four! Yeah. Good luck to the other four! For real. I mean, even after all that Afro Thunder displays it, it still wasn't enough to get through the physically imposing being known as Brian Fury. I like an effort from Afro though. She's yeah. not really had the work, came up short against Raimondo, came up short, you know, against Sans. And now it continues, you know, here tonight against uh, Brian Fury. Well, something's got to change, something's got to change soon, but for right now, Brian Fury is the first man in that five-man elimination match. And yeah. Lord, this, this is quite the competitor. Yeah, Brian Fury advances to the Den Man's Five match at Dead Summer's Night. Well, he could become the new number one contender to the Worldwide Wrestling Alliance World Heavyweight Championship. He could meet the winner of the Cyber Demon. If, if the Cyber Demon gets through tonight, or Ryo Hosuki, because we've got a title match here in our main event here tonight. World Heavyweight title on the line. Cyber Demon set to take on Mike Hager here tonight. That's a main event of this edition of Aftershock. Hager looking for some redemption off the prestige. Well, uh, hey, we got cameras in the back. There's Afro clear frustrated. Like, wait. Oh God! Is that? Yeah. Where to rub it in, you jerk? <laughs> yes. Yeah, hey. <laughs> Wait. Excuse me, you're not put on this card. Um. My brother isn't here tonight, by the way, because of, you know, the actions which happened at GWM Blackout. Well, I think Stryker is going to take full advantage of that because I think he just booked himself for a contest. Uh, my, my brother went to, you know, Vegas early. You know, you know, because we're approaching Redemption Week. Yeah, I, I understand. And that's Stryker's music, so guess what? I guess we're going with this. Yeah. There he is. Curtis fucking striker deciding, you know, to interrupt, you know, the entire proceedings here tonight, Sahaya. Well, it wouldn't be striker if he didn't absolutely ruin everything. I 
I mean, he is the bane of, let's be honest, the Mortal Kombat franchise. I mean, there is a reason why this guy, to many video gamers, is the most annoying, hated character in all of Mortal Kombat. Yes, that's a shoot. It's so useless in everything. Uh, but here's the thing. He insults Afro Thunder, yet during Flashpoint, the final three, uh, you know, that survival may make for a match, were like Mondo Pedrosa himself and Afro Thunder. Afro Thunder knocked him the fuck out with the overhand right to eliminate him. And I guess Strike to being bitter gets it out for his face, and I guess that's something which is going to happen in the future. Back from a man with a, uh, as big of an ego as Striker. He was a humiliating back then, and now he's just looking to prove that, hey, that was a mis that was just a one-time occurrence. Well, then who's, who's going to face him now? Because he's the I know of a, an entire roster which doesn't like him. Yeah. Oh, no! Uh -oh. oh, no! Which one is it? Oh, oh, shit, no! No! <laughs> Why leave him to the shed to fully accept the challenge? Big Ed, Double D, and Eddie in the back, they are in the shed. Is, is this which member? I, is this a one-on-one? -on -one? Is this two? Is this a handicap? What's going on? I think Striker wanted a one-on-one. -on -one. Can I be clear? Yeah. It's open challenge rules. Usually this is one-on-one, -on -one and and I, I don't think I could have won a three-on-one in the sense, even though I would like to. I can't kind of allow it. You understand? Standards in the sense, but well, this is what you get. Now you put yourself in a situation. Am I allowed to be clear? Well, this is what. I don't care. This. This is what he wanted. He wanted this to know that he was he was all big and bad. Now he's gonna have to take on one of the members of the shed. But which one is it going to yeah, be? You kind of fucked yourself with this one, if I'm allowed to be honest. There is the shed. Who's it gonna be? Obviously one of the most uh, infamous stables in all of virtual wrestling today. I mean, uh, think about the. Think about the run over in New Dog. Yep. That's been the mainstay. So well, Striker's striker. ready, and it's gonna be, oh. it's gonna be, it's gonna be the scout artist in the shed. It's gonna be Eddie. AJ Monahan rings the belt. Striker's a bit took back by this. Can I be clear? I don't think this is what Striker was expecting at all. Nope. He kind of, you know, sealed his own fate on this. Well. Oh, oh God, he... you. Disrespectful. That was a slap. Ah, yeah, that was a that's a, yeah, that was a big time lariat from Striker. Striker now. Oh God, taking advantage of the well, dirty here, the underhanded tactics. Doing the belt. Yeah, and yeah, you can hear this crowd, you know, completely on him. Striker now on the middle rope here. Middle oh, rope. Eddie. Drop the rope. Eddie Curtis. Eddie, we've not seen since episode two in action since, you know, the encounter he last time had with Sector. Uh-huh. Which did not go well. It did not. No, it did not. Oh, oh, man! But hey, you can always turn around against, uh, with a win against Stryker. Yeah. Eddie wins, the Shed wins, and the crowd wins. It's a win-win for everybody except for Stryker. Yeah, speaking of which, uh, last time we saw, uh, Last time we saw Sector and, uh, you know, uh, Sector was with Mavado and they kind of killed Terrence and Philip and have not sent the bill back to Adam yet. Good. <laughs> There's a suplex. I had to deal with their dumb asses back on FU. Oh, so you're happy about that? Yes. Because now... Hey, so I, I need to send the bill to Rick there. Oh my god, god they off the top. Just the two guys. Uh oh. Hey. Ninja Goku driver. Ninja. There's a three. No. 
Riker still staying in there, not trying to roll out, trying to catch his breath. Uh, I didn't put you on. Oh! Do you know what the floor like? Considering he was on the floor? I mean, yeah, he's kind of at a disadvantage either way you look at it. Wait a minute. I mean, Striker, uh, uh, you know, who's, who's looking to, you know, get back some momentum at the flashpoint. No! Oh, oh, that's the dad there. Oh, that is not helping. That is not helping whatsoever. Hey, what is Striker doing? We've got a man in Cody and we're in it off the apron. Both men back in. He's slamming his head off the apron there. Oh! Striker! With the... Complete yeah. shot! Yeah, jumping complete shot there. That's a kick. No! Oh my god! That was more of a flip net breaker. Well, isn't that what the moonlight drive is? Oh no, because it's you know he has me in the DDT position. No! No. Just the two. I guess that's fair. Uh oh. Oh, working over that back again. I like Striker's offense during this match. He is coming it's out. A lot more, he's coming out a lot more aggressive. I'll give him that. Yeah, Eddie, nice kick. Ooh. What a nice knee strike from Eddie. A little payback from earlier. That is what we call a receipt in the business of wrestling. As now, big time this is drop kick from Eddie. Shoots the half. Doesn't look the like though. That's gonna be just a two. mistake from Eddie. Yeah, yeah. Well, that, well here's the thing. Strike him over combatant, then Eddie, Eddie more usually not to tag team match Oh my god. Oh my god! Stacks him up! One! Two! No! Eddie showing off a bit of the power with that uh, power bomb. Now has him in the corner. Oh, oh, and now look at this. Eddie getting scrappy. Eddie getting scrappy against Stryker. So what Eddie needs to do, he needs to make this, you know, more of a street fight in a sense. Although both these men are used to fighting. Wait a minute, what is Eddie doing? Oh, no, there's the fisherman suplex. One, two, two. no. Oh. Well, Stryker is used to giving out street justice, but I don't think he's ever heard of anything called cul-de-sac justice. Yeah! Uh -oh. oh, there's that neck breaker again! That flip neck breaker once again from Stryker. Completely disorienting Eddie. What is this? Has... Oh! Luckily, it wants his neck! Oh, speaking of the neck, Stryker tried to immediately go for an STF there. Trying to look for a regal stretch. Yeah, I like a regal stretch type of version of STF. Yeah. Oh. There's a stinger splash. And then a quick bow. A quick piss take of a bow right there. Well, it wouldn't be striker if he wasn't constantly taking the piss. If it wasn't even, or if it wasn't trolling, am I allowed to say that? Yes. Die trying him! Eddie now inks a lot of trouble. Striker yeah, this could be the beginning of the end. Oh, Capture. God. Stuplex just dumped Eddie. Yeah, once he has two hooked up like that, there ain't nowhere you're going to be able to go. This could be it. No, no kick. May have been a bit low. Not on calling it further. Whoa, Eddie. Really? Eddie. Oh. Double R D T. Oh, God, that was close. That was almost a huge upset. Striker almost this got humiliated again. After all the shit talk you pulled, if you, like, this ain't a dig at Eddie because Eddie, the shed are all great athletes, but that would have been embarrassing. Yeah. Wait a minute, Eddie, what the hell? Eddie, for my... <laughs> 
Oh, that was bad. Oh, that was a bad idea. That was a mistake. That was a big mistake. And, and Stryker's gonna make him pay. Oh! Just Face bounce. Face steel steps. Just bouncing him head first into the steel steps. He's just throwing double B to back the hell up. Yeah, Stryker, Stryker using the intimidation right there. He is not in the mood right now. Uh-oh, Stryker looking for a scoop of a... No! It's countered. Fisherman again? Yeah! Got it! Did it hold it there? Picks up. Oh, no. Knocks him right in the corner. Oh, what the hell? Eddie up on um, that tower. Big right arm from Striker. What the hell is this? Apple is he? Oh, oh my! Oh, oh, oh God! Oh, oh my! It's power slam! Jesus! That might be the beginning of the end here. There's the knee strike again. Uh, power to just absolutely lift someone oh, else. Awesome. Oh, look at that high angle busting crap! He's looking to young lion poor Eddie here. I mean, after the bat, this is such a smart thing after the move you just did to the bat. It is. And he's got nowhere, and he's got nowhere to go. And Eddie, Eddie grabbed the hold of the leg there. That's the only the thing that saved him. Oh, he pushed him back. And now running towards him. Takes and Eddie's just going to fight. And he's just gonna fight now! Striker tr was trying to cover up, but Egg was just going as hard as he could. Oh, God. Right hand from Striker. Big elbow! And you can see Striker, you know, constantly looking at Double D and Ed while he's doing all this. Oh, my God! That'll do it! Last one, two, two. And look at Striker, he's wondering what the hell they got to do. I don't oh my! Like really expecting this kind of a fight from Eddie of all people. He wasn't! He thought he was gonna, you know, do this easy. But the way, you know, he talked to, to Afro. Oh, Eddie just cut him off. Shoulder! Oh! Oh my god! Wait a minute, what the hell? Wait! Wait a minute, don't the thing just got in the way! Woo! Fuck you in the two D way. AJ's like no, no, no. Well, 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 AJ's gonna do the right thing. AJ's gonna keep the match going. I don't know about Double D and Ed. They've been thrown out. I can't be looking at one half of that. Yeah, you know. Look, I love the character, but I don't. You can't just triple team someone in a one-on-one contest. I will say this though: it's given full control to Eddie and to maybe pull the subset off. He really has. <laughs> and Stryker's big man oh, moved on! He moved out the way. Well, he did. Really it almost cost him. Oh my god. Jeez! Stryker's big move almost cost him this entire. Uh oh, capture! Yes! Suplex! Oh, here we go, in the middle of the ring! Looks like Regal stretch we on about before! Yeah, I mean, this time Eddie is nowhere near the ropes. Eddie seems a bit dead to rights here, I'm allowed to say. Yeah, yeah there it is. That was what's happened about. What a fight, though! Yeah, that was a gutsy performance from Eddie, but uh, <laughs> I think that little uh, interference from the shed just pissed off Striker more than anything. It put Striker over there. He almost got Eddie the match one. The shadow almost scanned one here on here on after shot, but it, it had said Striker's big knife almost came to Biden. Yeah. But, it, but there it was that legal stretch right there. He was so sure. He's trying to hang on, but once he realized there was no, nothing he could do, he had no choice. He had no choice. 
Third is Striker in a sense, you know, send that message to Afro Thunder. Yep. And if those two are going to get it on in the future, Striker has built some momentum towards that grudge fight, I guess. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be right back on Aftershock with some barrel trick selection. Striker your winner in a hell of a match. We're back here on Aftershock episode 6, a hell of a fight between Eddie and Stryker. Yeah, uh, unfortunately Eddie uh, came up a bit short, but he showed a lot of heart and determination to save the lead. By the way, I want to shout, uh, we just came off break, I want to give a quick shout out to Phil Coulson and her friends over in UCWL. And yes, I say Phil Coulson because he runs that show and not the other prick who put me through a table last week. Your friend. No. Okay. No, that's fair. We've had there's some members in that roster we've had disagreements with. We're getting set for battle tricks action here on Aftershock. There's oh, the devilish and beautiful and deadly Anna Williams makes her way out for singles action. Everything you just said there is a hundred percent true, considering this woman right here. Some, uh, Anna Williams has been recently seen in the CAW Champions League. Oh, and Nina have been causing, you know, hell for uh, the Schultz family, the female side of it. Uh -huh. I there's a reason why, unfortunately, me and my brother have had to put a temporary ban on the Schultz family from showing up from these events. We, we don't, we don't want World War. We don't want to, you know, World War incidents happening backstage. Hell on earth. Yeah. But this match coming out of Flashpoint, Anna Williams set to take on the woman she pinned at Flashpoint during, you know, the tag team bonus match added. When she teamed with Asuna. So, Anna Williams set to meet a bit of a cult favourite here in the Asylum. And of this entire roster. The gaming queen of the Overwatch franchise is on deck. You got pissed at me because of what? said last night. Over oh, what? Ah, nothing. <laughs> ah, here comes she is. Yes. Maybe one of the fastest rising stars. Stop! Right. Stop! 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 The one and only Diva, also going to be seen in arcade wrestling soon. Look, I like Diva. She seems like a sweet girl. She seems like a very nice woman. But you hate the dab. Well, I, mean, I can't. I can't take the dab. I don't understand the gaming culture, to say the least. Oh, oh. By the way, can I say something dead quick? Because I'm going to make this an annual thing due to a wide chat. Diva, Crim Rocker's favorite Bellatrix. I see you, Quinn. No, he hates her, which is why I'm saying it. No. <laughs> I'll be that petty seeing you in the chat saying that. He's being a dick. Yeah, anyway, Diva, Diva and Williams here going at it, and Anna on the attack straight away. Well, that doesn't surprise me in the slightest. 
and a pin diva, you know, during that uh, tag team match back at uh, Flashpoint, where Anna and Asuna team looked to take on Diva and, you know, Spider Gwen. Oh, oh no, let's give up Diva, and here comes the speed! Woo! Oh, no one can match Diva's speed in the Bellatrix division. She is definitely the quickest member of the roster. She is not wasting any time against Dan Williams, and why should she? I mean, it's a bit of redemption. Look at that! Whoa! Spitball crossbody off the middle rope. She landed right on top of Anna Williams with all of her body weight. Yeah. Quite fully, right fully in the corner here as well. Missile oh. drop. Come on. Two. Two. No. no. Now, would you weigh a gamer in pounds or in uh, hot burrito bags? <laughs> well. I mean, uh, the, the Diva does, you know, have the deal, you know, the sponsorship deal with Doritos. By the way, there's some on the table, I've got, you know, because we have the sponsorship uh, that's, deal. That's, that's what these were for, it's a sponsor? Yeah, <laughs> but <laughs> we get the stacks from them. Yeah. Hey, the dips are nice. Ugh. Yeah. It's now hey. Anna. Uh-oh, Anna. Oh, set up, oh. Herbal. One. Two. No. I mean, we are also sponsored, you know, by Mecha. You know, you know, Diva's main company. And the people behind the Mech. If you've ever seen it, it's a, it's a marvel. Oh, she missed time that drug kick and make a mistake like that against Anna Williams. Be punished. Netbreaker. Yeah, you're gonna pay every single time. And now... Oh! oh! And this Anna with a mistake. Damn it! Oh, my God! Posture with that German suplex. German suplex funny enough. Diva, whose main issue on this Bellatrix roster has you know been with Asuna. Oh my oh, god! Agent is trying to get him down off the thing. God damn it, oh, a bit slow to the kite. And he may have cost Diva a win right there. That was easily like a four count. Come on, AJ, you're not at home yet with your wife. You're here doing the show. Wake up a little bit. Go on! These women just pulling out all the big maneuvers and we're not even like five minutes into the match! Oh, Diva just kicked out of down. Well, it's the stars of these two. What was Diva doing? Could have had a set. Murloc! That's new! Or, or Diva Lock. Yeah, a Diva Lock, yeah. Trying to get on into top. Uh oh, I know. Oh, she put the hands free. Nope. And Anna was up first, though. Um, tried to knee. Blocked. Clothesline! Oh, this is not where you want to be. Diva, yeah, could have been playing the game time already. Yeah, Wait a minute. Oh, yeah, my God! I thought she was looking for that play of the game spiral. I think I moves on only two. Play of the what? Play of the game. It's a spiral top she does. Is that a reference to something? HOLY oh, SHIT! Do you know why it's not? It's not a reference to that move you hate. Okay? One, two, so... The reference is to, uh... Well, the game series she's from Overwatch. Mm. It always shows the play of the game at the end. Yeah. It better be because it's the It ain't a reference to the Overdrive, okay? Jordan! We accept the overdrive was not accepted in parts of the US. Second German in the whole ropes. There it goes. Oh, what is Anna? It's got a... King Crusher! King Crusher! One, two, go! Not gonna! What a physical bite this has been! It's been a hell of a fight so far. Since the get all these two have been going at it. Uh-oh. They, they have just been caught. Oh, oh. 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 Caught it on the arm! Alright. Oh, she hit the shot in, but caught it barely and got a near fall. She caught the arm, wasn't able to catch. I think she was trying to go for the midsection, but it did damage them. They caught the face. Wow, look at that. Going for the arm again, now trying to focus on it, but Diva, the endurance, body shot. 
Oh! Oh, no, and then Diva might put the speed up. That was a nice shot. What is she? Oh, no, 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 no. I thought she was going to do, you know, the step over back suplex, we see. Uh-huh. Step up, play the game! No! Too many if you let me say, oh my god, it's not going to get back on track! He was dropping her on her head! These Williams sisters are ruthless. That happened in the mid We all see Nina's work in CCL. Speaking of which, I've been t employing my brother to try and employ Nina. For the love of god, we do not need that, bro. Oh my god, no. Yeah. Enough, uh, second one is, is World War II. It, uh, it depends. Can I be clear? Diva say Nana up on the ropes. What she do? It? Oh my! That was a knee to the ribs. That was knocking all the breath out of her while sending her to the outside. Diva day. Oh my God! God! She landed on top of her head. Slingshot cross body to the floor. Oh God! As we have said for ages, Diva is the ultimate high-risk merchant out of the Bellatrix division. Oh, and she got caught with a knee. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> and Anna is maybe one of the most ruthless out of the Bellatrix division. Ow. Just put her on a thing. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, we're going to Texas! Texas globally! Great, great submission hold! Stop Steve, may stop Diva's high flying here! Oh, but look at that, she's gonna crawl, she's gonna try to will herself close to the bottom rope here. Oh, wait, no, oh, 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 oh. no, 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 Now that was close. Uh oh, they don't rope. Dollar is totally ready to possibly get a Mountain Dew sponsorship as well. Yo, G Fuel called in a sense. That's what I may call it from now on. Jesus Christ. Oh! Oh my god! <laughs> I may call that from now on. What is that? She's a complete shot. She does not get it. That's a one of the. I think I like Q. Chief Fuel code from now on. Type that in the chat. No. Oh! Flame shot frog splash nobody on. That could have cost her big oh! slam Anna. Anna holding her ribs. Diva's in trouble. Oh, that's the case. Oh no! Oh if this hits it's over. Death by no! That's the good rider! Diva now wants Adam Williams up! JJ Carter! Good game, Adam No! Oh, too close for us. That may be more of a look than anything! Adam Williams hand it the ropes! Diva going to focus straight away! Play of the game! This was over! She left no doubts! And it is a redemption for Diva of Flashpoint! Diva came into this contest with something to prove, and right out of the gate, she came right at Anna Williams like a house of fire and did not let up until the bell rang, and in the end, it paid off. You see, she hit the play of the game, that spiral tap for the victory. A nice bounce back there for Diva. Yeah, I mean, this was a hell of a back and forth, can we be clear? Yeah, but in the end, it was a physical bite, that GG cutter, that, you know, that diamond cutter, Sasha KO, or no, no, it's the color. The GG standing for good game. I know, I know. She does all the game, the references, okay? Not my fault. So, deep again, it done a redemption for Flashpoint over on a Williams here on Aftershock Episode 6. Oh, come on! You fucking bitch! That's a soon 
wonder where the candle stick. God fuck! You fucking bitch! I'll stir again! I'll shoot back! You know, you get the camera off that! You've got a main event! Got a break! Got a break! Got a break! Got a break right now! Got us a break! Son of a bitch! For more WA aftershock action, Mr. Hit Hit Worldwide had to uh, go attend to Diva, see what's up with that. Again, a very cowardly attack, to say the least, from uh, Asuna. But uh, right now, we've got a World Championship main event coming up right about now. There you can hear the music. And right now, here comes one of SOB. None other than Mike Taylor. And, and this is going to be quite the challenge for Mr. Mike Taylor right now because he's going up against a. I'm wall. back. I'm back. I, I apologize for leaving the desk, ladies and gentlemen. I have to go and see the diva. That was disgusting. Ouch. Ribs are killing her? I mean, she took a candle stick and all to... Fucking Asuna. Look, time, time will come to her. Right now, we have to focus on this main event right now. And she's the one the Queen's the rest! Sink, uh, committee picked out to represent us, by the way, in the tournament. I'm fucking believable. Anyway, we're gonna refocus, it's main event time. First, the challenger in my Kaga. Win off a win against Robo back at, uh, you know, uh, at the uh, Countdown's Flashpoint. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, oh, God. here comes the World Heavyweight Champion. This monster! Yeah! Kind of expected that! This creature from the pits of hell itself! There it is! There is the cyber demon! Cyber demon as your world champion. He won the fight. He won the final four. You know, back at Flashpoint. Survived Horang, survived Rain, and, and, and finished off Rio Hosuki by sinclairing him on the bottom rope. Followed out by that slam known as the Fallout. That was disgusting, and I wish I didn't see it, but I did, and it's in my memory now. Ah! And by the way, Rio won a number one contenders match last week! Rio wants another shot against this thing! The, the, the... You know, Warrior's Honor in a sense. Look, but it, if I ever went up against Cyber Redeem and I'd be considered myself lucky for getting out alive. Same! But here we go, it's a main event. Mike Hager gets the shot of redemption, you know, first. 
because whoever wins this goes on to a dead summer's night ma night main event to meet you know real Hasuki for the belt right and in a sense we could be looking at a singles match but we do have rematch causes here so we're either looking at a singles match real and the cyber demon or a triple threat should hanger pull off which and, and this is crazy saying this about mike hanger someone who's experienced in that wrestling ring for over 20 plus years now Sorry, 30, can I make clear? Or 40? Yeah. Yeah. You think back to Saturday Night Slam Masters, you know, that, that circuit. Mm -hmm. He has decades of experience on this demon, but he's the underdog because just look at what's across from him. That thing is not a wrestler. That thing is not a human being. That thing is a literal walking mass of destruction. Wait, I didn't sign this. Can I be clear? I need to be clear, this is on my brother! Because he was left a gift from the, uh... The demon originally was coming down... Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! I, I need to just crush my Kagos ribs. So ladies and gentlemen, this is your Worldwide Wrestling Alliance Aftershock 6 main event of the evening. It's for the Worldwide Wrestling Alliance World Heavyweight title. Mike Hager versus the Cyber Demon. The Cyber Demon was left as a gift, as a talent. By, you know, the, uh, rec by the closed down, you know, Foltec Wrestling Federation. Right. Uh, speaking Thanks. of which... Uh, Thanks, MTV. Yeah, thank you, MTV. Speaking of which, shout out to MTV. Uh, TPGW is coming back. It might be back by the time this has gone up. Oh, Just get your eyes open. Oh, boy. That company you lost ownership of. Hey. Hey. You Ah! And I know we don't talk about it because you're looking my brother ain't here tonight. Oh, side slam! You still all the money been... from back then. <laughs> oh god, that might have been one of the main reasons why I decided to come to this show in particular. Yeah, because he's already because he's already he's already in Vegas organizing aftershock episode yeah. seven to be held. Oh, by the way, that is the uh, next episode, the Sin City Special. Edition of Aftershock to be held from the MGM Grand in Las Vegas, Nevada. It's now a bit of a US tour. We go to the episode 8. We head to uh, uh, Portland, Oregon. Here on the 1610 Memorial Center. Because the Cyber Demon is just crushing Mike Hager's head into. No! Nope. Trying to fight back here. Yeah, I got. Oh my god, can Hager get him? He can't get him! Oh Suplex! Nicely done and with authority as well. Well, Hager is used to lifting, you know, like Max. If you've if you've yeah. ever seen Mike Hager. And now he's got a dragon sleeper being applied. Try here. and grind it. Try and grind this thing. Yeah, that's nope. a lot. That's a lot for the second day. That it is. Yeah, but we head to the motor center for a go home aftershock. And then, a, and then a double stop in LA uh, at the VW Studios for a special edition of Worldwide! Which will be, you know, a final go home episode. Uh, oh my god. So the big event itself to be held live at the forum in, 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 here on Earth 1610 in Los Angeles, Dead Summer's Night. No! Oh my god! Thank god he went near the ropes. He slammed him right on his face. Thank God he won't near the ropes. That was the same drop slam, which you know Sinclair Rio Hasuki back at Dead Summer's Night. Don't let him hear you, or else he he could do it. Oh, he would happily do it. Absolutely. That thing would happily do it. There's a knee. Oh my God. Mike Kaga, by the way, need, needs to focus because he's got a busy schedule. Cause not only has he got this World Title match here tonight. Call me upcoming New Dawn Pro, you know, Fantasy World Summit. You know, in the near future. He's got a match against the FCWL World Heavyweight Champion. Oh well, yeah, that's right. Cody Travers in that final fight grudge match in a sense. What? Oh my! What? Straight to the hangar! Belly to belly back inside the ring, come One, on. two, no! no. Power and strength of Mike on pure display here. 
Wasteland. Oh, oh big the symptom. Big boy. What the hell is he thinking? Tried to send tumble. It, it, it was the demon, you know, when he rolled the. Yeah. Rolled out of the way. Hagen was gonna stay on it and get an elbow instead. The demon was damaged, but in a sense, instinct right there. It's best you can do in a situation like that. Uh -oh. oh my God! Uh, and, uh, and the snap the cyber demon gets on that, by the way. That breaker. This picks you up and slams you down, my guy. He doesn't do anything pretty. No, he oh my! That drop rock bottom out of nowhere. That's a pirate's punch. Two. No. no. The pirates plunge in a sense on the game two mid fist by uh, our mentor Captain Jack. Shout out to the captain. Or to one of them at least. Oh my God! Oh, you know the captain of me art, the other. Oh, you damn well know that. Back out, boy! Captain of my heart, get the hell out of here. You know I'm right. Oh, she is! Oh, my God. Let's just get back to the match. Back to this main event. There's a kick from <laughs> higher. Oh, he's got him by the... He's got him by the he's horn! He's got him by the horn! That's smart! Big shot! Got him lined up! Oh my! What a game! Oh, he just sent him flying over the top rope! That was disgusting! I'm into the guardrail! Mike, this has been his best opportunity all match. He's gotta stay on the cyber demon. Oh, the deep. Oh, he just oh, slapped him! I did it again! Who slaps my cargo over there in this fucking monstrosity? Oh my oh, god! god. Oh, oh my god! He's looking. He's the and then he just one darted him. He's the only just one darted him. He's the only one who possibly could and get away with it. And then he one darted him. Yeah. And oh it, my god. He's just dead with Ding Haga here! Oh, wait a minute. Oh, Mike's trying to fight out! Which he does. Wait a minute. Where the hell oh. are you going? Uh, championship advantage, by the way, on, a, on an end of a corner or a DQ. Yeah. Oh my god! Referee's still counting. What a drop kick by Haga, not the demon, you know, right onto that steel ramp! Could that be the opportunity Mike Haggard needed? It might be. Rolls him back into the ring. Smart from Haggard, he knew he had that tank on. There's the wrestling experience edge to Haggard. Oh, oh my what? god! Don't hit it! Hooks the one! Two! No! Not enough for the three, not just yet. Oh my god, Boston grab though! She's too tall though! Too much power! It's too big. It's like it's, it's it's like trying to apply a a, a, a Boston crab to a tree. It's kind of impossible. Yeah. What the hell is the cyber demon doing? Right hand! Oh, oh my god, no 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 no! Oh dear god, this is good! Over you! Wrestling the super plex. An ultra high elevation super oh, now look at oh this! God, the cyber arm into the, the cyber arm to the shoulder and he's trying to squeeze that shoulder shot! Ah, wait a minute! I got roll through and swap the leg! Oh, I can't oh, gonna drop the elbow! Just trying to keep this thing done! He's trying and I'll give him Hager a lot of credit. He's been doing a lot of damage. Oh my god, what a back elbow. That dazed him. He just can't keep the cyber demon down. He's not gonna do this again. Oh, oh my god! god. Well, that right. was snapped him in half. He wasn't gonna do it again, he was just gonna snap his spine. 
Rolling around the back. Oh, speak of stopping your spine! Oh, there's a torture rack. Good God! And he is just wearing out the back. And when do you see this happen to Mike Higher? When? Uh, never. This could be, yeah, the right. Why have many stopped this? No, wait! Punches! Gets out of it! He goes, there's a kick! No way! Metro Heights! No! Whoa. Oh! Oh my Jesus! 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 And just to prove a point! One more! Good measure. A second fall out! One! <laughs> two! One. It's over! Yeah, it's it was done! It only takes one of them usually! You won't kick out of that. You're not kicking out of two in a row, not a chance in hell! No. Cyber Demon retains the world title! I, I'll give it up for Mike, he, he put on as good of an effort as he possibly could, but... Too much! Yeah, Too much! How the hell can you possibly beat this dude? That's my question! What kind of chance does real Hazuki stand? Could that some of night? That's a good question. This thing is a monster! And real Hazuki, I give you credit for wanting the fight, but Warrior's honor of wanting the fight. Nah, it's but this thing is a monster! Nah, hey kid, that's not a monster. That's, that's a demon. A demon. That's and we are, and we are here in the Worldwide Wrestling Alliance, fully entrenched in the demon's domain. Because so I am Morgan. I've been Hickey Worldwide. This has been After Shock Episode Six. We are going to sign off. Oh, oh, wait a minute! Wait a second. Oh, Sadie, she's not supposed to be here tonight. Hear the music! That's real Zinky's music! It's crazy! There he is! But the we are really a time here on this invention of Aftershock! Yeah, we gotta go! We gotta go, but Rio's on the run! These are the two men who will go for the World Heavyweight Time Ah, then Summer's Night! Oh, here they go! Oh, they gotta go! See you in Sin City, ladies and gentlemen!